Hi, meteorologist Candace Foling here. Time for your Sunday Science Tidbit. And this week we're going to be talking about hurricane spaghetti plots. So hurricane spaghetti plots help us visualize where a storm may go on future base or different model members that range in structure and complexity. The two basic types are statistical and dynamical models. Statistical models are the quickest and simplest of the models and they rely on location of the storm, time of year, and behavior of past storms. Dynamical models or numerical models are quite complex because they use big scary math equations to calculate the atmosphere and need powerful supercomputers to run on. Now, one small error in the initial conditions can lead to a much bigger error in the forecast. Much like grocery shopping at the store and you try to guesstimate how much you spend in your head only to find out you still blew the grocery budget. Anyone know that feeling? Well, hurricane hunters help to close this gap. Consensus models take an average from the different model members, but there's always a degree of uncertainty. So here's a fun real world example. Remember that controversial black and blue or white and gold dress? Well, let's make up some fact that people like to wear black and blue clothes. Not actually true, but we'll pretend for this example. Statistical models will say based on history and the current time, people like to wear black and blue. Dynamical models might mathematically calculate the hue of the dress based on the picture. Let's say it's leaning towards a white and gold. A consensus may be like asking multiple people their opinion and averaging to find an answer. See how we have different answers to the same question? Hurricane hunters go and collect real world data to feed into the models, so seeing the dress in person will help dynamical models and you get a handle on what's going on. The atmosphere is extremely complex, so no forecast will be perfect. Let's just hope that we don't have to use too many spaghetti plots this hurricane season. As always, you can go to WNCT.com and search Sunday Science Tibbet to see all the latest Sunday Science tidbits and you can also hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or on my email for any Sunday Science tidbit ideas.